guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I am excited. It has arrived. It is starting to come together. All of the computer parts are finally starting to show up. We have ordered quite a bit. Uh, we have some RAM kits. Uh, these are the RGB by Easy Fabs. Uh, cable extenders. We're going to use one of our T-Virus reservoirs. I went ahead and bought another one of these pumps. I'm thinking about running dual pumps in it. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but we got, uh, that's the old one, hold on. There we go, that's the new one, brand new pump, because I figured that if I'm going to build this thing water-cooled, I, I don't want a pump failing on me. And this right here is a used pump that I've ran in that build for over a year. So it's time to probably replace it. And then since we're going with this being my editing rig and also being my storage rig, we're going to have a lot of hard drive. We still have two coming. We do have another, uh, I think it's a two terabyte hard drive on its way and an M.2 SSD that's on its way. We're going to run sleeve extensions. This is for the GPU to allow me to run sleeve extensions. This is a brand new box of 120 millimeter green fans because we're going to run a blue and green. You can see that? Brand new fans. I love brand new stuff. Oh, do I ever? Awesome sauce. And then moving it on down the line, we have a couple brand new sticks of RAM. Uh, I bought three brand new one and this is the one that we, this is a new stick, but I used it to test that. Um, and then we got this right here. These are four gig sticks of $26.66 a piece. These were about 20 bucks a pop. Now we are upgrading the CPU. We're going to go to a ninth gen Core i5 9600KF. It's an unlocked CPU, which is great. Um, this is currently an i3-8100 that we're going to run in it, but we're going to switch that out uh, going on that. But we're all going to use the Aorus motherboard, and we're going to use the 960 Extreme. But that is not why I am here today, guys. The reason why I am here today is because of a case. Let me go over here and hit record on the other camera. Alrighty, so this is it. This is what I've been waiting on. This is what's going to go inside, or this is what's going to hold all of it. This is the case, the Raid Max Gamma. Oh, and not to mention, I got some, I got brand new RGB LED kits that just came in. Um, and we're going to pimp this thing out. I love it. It comes in a couple of different awesome colors. As you can see, it comes in white, green, orange, blue, and black, but they didn't have the blue, and they wanted more money for the black, and I was stuck between orange and green, and I wanted something different. I was going to go with the blue, but they didn't have it, so I went with the green instead. We're going to go ahead and give you just a couple quick specifications. It is liquid cooled ready, which is one of the awesomest things that I like about it. It can hold four types of hard drives. It can hold two 3.5 inch hard drives and two 2.5 inch SSDs. It does hold ATX, micro ATX and ITX. We're gonna be running ATX. It has USB 3.0, blah, 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 blah. Liquid cooling support, a 280 millimeter and a 360 millimeter at the top. So without further ado, let's cut this sucker open. Here, open. Okay. Oh. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see here, I don't need that. Isn't that awesome? I made that. Cool, give me a like, guys, if you like it. Cool. All right, coming on down. Let's see here, what's in this? Oh, this is the front of the case, is it? Okay, so I know how this has to go now. Hold on. Let me set the GoPro down. Hopefully that does not fall. I also have a camera facing right there. So that way it catches all these great shots. Oh, I broke it. That's not good. I don't like it when I break the foam inserts because I keep, I keep all of the inserts. So that way I can put the case back in the box if I ever need to move it. This is being a pain. 
pain. Come on. Oh, there we go. I don't want it to fall. Alrighty, like that. I do have to admit though, that is a pretty cool looking box. Right? That is a cool looking box. Good. Another box to add to my case of collections. Here, come in anyway. Super light case. Alright. So there we have it. It's out of the box. Tempered glass. Very nice. I like the back of it. The back looks like it has plenty of just everything. Plenty of slots. I guess that's the seven slots that it was talking about. I was thinking about the front, but there's no front. Comes with a stock fan. Oh, I like the way that slides. See that? That unguns. Cool. Good deal. Power supply filter. Those. That's good. Looks like I'm missing one down there. It's probably in the case somewhere. Uh, let's see about it. See, it's tempered glass. Uh, let's go. There's the front of it. And then the side and then the top. Which looks cool. Let's see if I can't remove the tempered glass with one hand. Glass. Very nice. And it is tempered. It looks great. Let's set that down, preferably back in the box, so that way if it falls, it won't get broken. Okay, so this is the inside of it. Hey, I can't believe I already jacked up the front end of it somehow. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so. All righty, so this is the inside of it. It does have a power supply coffin or power supply shroud, whatever you want to call it. Plenty of space in the front here. See that? It has plenty of space in the front for radiators and up top, which is good. Now, it only supports 120 millimeter fans, which is kind of sucks, but that's all right. Now, what I want to do is I want to put, I want to get carbon fiber wrap and I want to carbon fiber the lip of this thing. And I want to carbon fiber this part right here, this whole area, I want to carbon fiber. And I might even consider carbon fibering this, but that's where the, the water block and stuff is going to sit in it. It looks good. Um, one thing I did notice is look how big this area is back here. The motherboard back plate is cut out huge. You guys see that? That is great. You know why that is great? And I'll show you guys why that is great. Let's pull off this side panel here. There we go. Oh, look at that. See that? The side panel is raised. See that? It's raised to allow cables. Because when you have all these cables bundled up in there, a flat piece, a flat piece of metal could mess all that up. So what they did is they raised the back part of it to give you room for it. And I like that. That's a good feature. The feature that I was talking about was this right here. You see how big that is? The good thing about that is, is that if your motherboard is sitting here, you can switch out the GPU or the, the water block. You can switch out the air cooler because you have access to it. Most of the times you have to take the motherboard out of the case and able to get access to the black, to the back plate on the back side of the motherboard. Well, this is nice and open, so I can probably actually do a change, like change the CPU cooler or change it to a water block or do whatever I need to do because it has a nice big open spot, kind of mesh screen on it. That's good. Plenty of open here. Now, my thing is, is that where is the air supposed to come from on this front piece? You see, it only, I guess it's supposed to suck it up through that little vent right there. So what I was thinking is that since the case will be, whoop, don't drop that. Since the case will be facing me, all right, maybe on the other side here, I can put a couple of holes or take a Dremel tool and maybe Dremel out that side panel and maybe even cut up in here out a little bit more so that way it gets more air. Uh, let's go over what it can do. It does hold two, look at that. It has two spots for an SSD, which is really nice. I already dedicated. Um, plenty of grommets, or uh, plenty of pass-throughs. See that? A lot of pass-throughs. So that way you can run your CPU power that way, or your fans, 
or the 24 pin lower bottom top whichever way you prefer it uh, you know it's, look, it's starting to look good and I like how it has those dedicated SSD slots now let's see if I can pull this out so this is where your two 3.5 inch drives are supposed to go but if your power supply is big like if you have a big power supply I can see where your cables might hit this drive bay so you may actually have to take that out to make room for the cables to come through because I'm looking at the area of it I mean it's a good size area but if this if the power supply stops right here then you only have that much room for all of those bundles of cables and stuff um, so you better hope you have a modular power supply if not then you may have to remove this drive and able to get that in there um, we're going to put a couple of drives in it ourselves, a one terabyte and I think a three terabyte on the front you have one USB 3 one USB 2 audio microphone reset power and then power LEDs uh, this looks great I even notice it's like a metallic paint you see that it has like a sparkle on it so it's a metallic color which is very cool I like that a lot comes off see that kind of feels cheesy to me all right well that's that's a good feature check that out see the pop the top just pops off most of the time when the top pops off your IO goes with it well in this case it doesn't so that will make for easy cleaning right there you can just wipe that off with a towel if you need to I mean because there's no electronics attached to it so you don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything um, plenty of access and space to reach everything look at that that looks great oh check that out even the case you see that even the case has like a metallic finish to it which is a really cool thing I'm really starting to like this case now let's see about let's see if we can't maybe get the front off without breaking it I don't want to break it it's brand new <laughs> I even got to do a show with it yet so I was installing the motherboard just to kind of give it a look through and I noticed something remember how I said that I could take three screws out and remove this this power supply coffin well I was looking at this on the other side and I noticed that this whole thing is held together by Allen by Allen screws there's not a ribbon in it so you could remove these and take the entire motherboard tray out and if you wanted to remove this it also has Allen heads on it so you can remove it so the whole thing is put together by screws which is a very nice feature now there are a couple spots that it's held in by a rivet but for the most part everything is held in by an allen screw which is a very nice feature because if you want to case mod taking the panel physically out of the case is so much easier to working with because a lot of times we're working with a grinder and the grinder will have a, a big diameter on it and while you're trying to cut this piece you can also be cutting the piece in the back because the blade will touch that as you drive it into the metal which really sucks for modding so one of the reasons why I got this case is because the whole thing is held together by screws and I think that is an excellent feature like how stable see this look at that that case is stable very stable I mean I'm really trying to wiggle it look see that's good because you don't want a case that's easily to fall over if your cat was to run into it your dog was to bump it you know you would at least want it to uh, hopefully it would stay up on his feet but also you don't want your case on the floor never put your PC case on the floor I don't I keep it on the desk or at least keep it on something if it has to be on the floor but I am I'm impressed it kind of has like a like a Lamborghini look in the back I really like that look give me a like if you guys like it please subscribe and stay tuned because the next thing that's going to happen with this is we're going to start putting all of these parts into it 
and then we're going to water cool it. So, stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you guys be cool and peace. Peace. Merch. Peace. Check it out. Peace. So, yeah.